Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be adding our ESXi servers into vCenter and creating a data center inside of vCenter as well. This is video four, I believe, but just follow the playlist. If you missed anything, please follow from step one or video one until now so you don't miss any steps. So please like, subscribe, and share, and please leave a comment in the description below just so I can see how I'm doing your feedback is really important. So let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right, guys, so here we are on my desktop. So let's make this a little bigger. Maybe I can bring that down a little bit. But right here, we have our vcsa.infosecpath.local, which is where we're gonna be creating the data center, right? So you can just click around. And if you're not familiar with any of these, you can go here, go to shortcuts, and you can see, uh, host and clusters, VMware and template storage, networking, etc. Right. So, like, let's just go back home for now and inventory. So, here we're going to go ahead and go to uh, host and clusters. And then we're going to right click and add new data center. Right. So, my data center, I'm just going to put uh, infosec at dash data center. Okay. That should be good for me. Let's go ahead and create that. So now, once we have our data center, what we can do now, we can right click on here and add hosts, right? So once we add a host, invalid host name, because there is no host yet. So if you can see up here, we have ESXiO1, ESXiO2, and three and four. So I added four ESXi servers and just to show you guys that, because this is full screen. If you see here on the left-hand side, it's super small probably for you guys, but in the VMware training, I created two more ESXi servers. So yes, I have four that I need to uh, install. Excuse me, I have four to add, I'm sorry. So let's go back, where is that now? Here. So let's just go to esxi pat dot local okay let's go to next and we can just go to root and put in our password okay let's go to next and yes it's fine and here we are using nested virtualization so we are using vmware workstation on top of my on top of my desktop so we should be good there and that's totally fine well, i guess we can manage manage host with an image, that should be fine. Let's just keep going. And you know what, let's go back. Let's uncheck this, all right? And eval, right? So we're just using the eval copy right now. So we have 57 days. Hopefully I get these videos done within that time. In lockdown mode, we can leave that disabled. And this is our data center. So that's the location and hit finished. So we'll let that do its thing and we'll do the same exact thing for the next three. So what I want to do is do a little cheat. I want to do two, and then I want to copy this to for three and four. All right. So let me speed up and let's go ahead and hit next. Yes, that's fine. Yes, uncheck that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finish. All right. So let's go ahead and do it all of our hosts it's very very simple as you can see and then we'll browse around and see that shortly so let's go back to root all right let me put my fancy password hit next here yes that's all fine it's the same thing let's uncheck that go to next 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 and one more for the record whoops not there we had to add host to our paste that and do four. And let's do it a root. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit next. Yes, next. Uncheck that for now. We don't need any of this. All right, let's finish. So what I want to do really quick, I want to show you guys how I have this set up. So while this is doing all its stuff, so in my network, let's go ahead and bring this, try to bring it as large as possible. So you can copy 
you could do the same exact infosec pat or whatever. You can put your name, dot local, whatever you want for your domain. And if you want to create a same, the same NAT network, the same uh, subnet mask, 192.168.100 slash 24, you can do it. You can do, you can copy exactly what I'm doing. So my DC is at 100, and that's going to be DNS as well. And my secondary DNS server, I'm using Google. And in my case, my gateway is dot two. And these are all, this is my VCSA, it's at dot 60. And 51 to 54 is my ESXi servers. So if you guys want to copy that, take a snippet and you can utilize that. You can cheat. Okay. Just going to throw that off to the side. Now we have all of our, th this is pretty much concludes this video, but we're going to browse around for a second. So if we go to uh, VCSA, we can see, come down here, everything's in good shape, right? We can see that the, the vCenter health is in good shape. We can go to monitor trigger alerts obviously i had a warning here i'm not even sure what that warning is does it showcase what the warning was all right that's fine i'll check that later the tasks and we'll get into this a little later on right so we can go to configuration obviously this is a eval copy so you can see message of the day and advanced settings you can that was my Siri, I'm sorry. So now you can go to permissions, and these are all the permissions that are located here. You know, vSphere.local administrator, the data center, we only have this one data center that we created, and one VM as of right now, because that's the VCSA. Hosts and clusters, you can see all of our hosts that we have. All right, so the only thing that's probably consuming utilization right now is ESXi1. Because, why? Because we have one VM running on there, which is the VCSA. And as we see that, we can go to VMs, VCSA, as you can see that, right? So data stores, we should have a few data stores. The VCSA data store in one, two, and three for each individual hosts, right? So our network, we only have one network at, at the moment, and it's a standard network. Linked vCenter servers, right now there's no nothing linked extensions updates you can go ahead and update your baseline obviously i can x this out i don't care about that so we have four hosts okay so you can see a tag you can you know everything looks good so you can you can tinker around with this vmware tools vmware hardware upgrades and pre-checks all right so let's go back to summary we can see here that we have zero clusters at the moment we have four hosts and one VM. We can see here everything is good, the utilization for that uh, ESXi host. So now if we go here on the, on the left-hand side, we can see we have this one VM. Remember, because this was VM, VMs and templates. Then we have storage, then we have network. So pretty much what we went through here with the storage, you're gonna see here. So we should see four or five in my case, and then one network. Right. So that pretty much concludes this video on how to add your ESXi host into vCenter. And this is v, vCenter version 8.0.2, as you can see here. So hopefully it's been informative for you guys. And I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, please leave a you know, comment in the description below. And I hope you're enjoying this series. Thank you so much.